Okay, so I've just received this package. Inside should be some of those um, cube-shaped ball bearing dexterity games. I bought them on eBay, and this they've come all the way over from America. So let's open this up. Okay, interesting. It looks like we've got like a, a Christmas-themed um, envelope. Alright, so inside the uh, the envelope we've got another envelope. Doesn't say anything on it. And there it is. So these are by Chadwick and it says Mind Teaser Games. I wouldn't really call these mind teasers because it's the more of like a, a dexterity thing rather than you're having to like figure things out, like you, which is what you usually do with a puzzle. Um, it says fascinating cube games featuring a variety of challenging levels, 12 different games. Uh, yep, okay, oh, it says 1993 there. Um, Made in Taiwan, um, Canton, MA. That sounds like somewhere in America. I'm not really sure. I've never heard of Canton before, and I don't know what MA stands for. But let's open this up. Okay, how do I open this? There we go. So straight away, these do look in fairly good condition, especially considering that they're from 1993. So yeah, it's it's um, it's quite difficult trying to find these online, even just trying to find pictures of these types of dexterity games online. I'm not sure if it's just because like <clears throat> they're just uncommon. Maybe maybe they were never that popular, so not that many got made, or maybe um, I've not been using the right words when searching for them because I don't really know what the proper what the proper name is for these puzzles, really. So yeah, I used to have. Um, three or four of, of these types of puzzles um, either in the very late 80s or very early 90s and um, I've still got two of them somewhere but they look, they look really scuffed up now and they're kind of cracked and whatever um, I think I think I used to have that one actually and I used to have one which was like that but the, th the things inside were a different colour let's take a look at these anyway So with this one, you've got to get all three hoops onto this thing. Um, done with this one. Got loads of little ball bearings on it. And obviously you've got to get them all set on those holes. I remember, I've just remembered now as well, back in the day when I had um, a few of these puzzles, I actually used a magnet to move the ball bearings around to cheat. But that actually ended up magnetising the balls, so when I try it without a, a magnet, they all kind of stick together, so I kind of messed it up. There's another one. I'm guessing that you've got to get the, the ball bearing in the middle bit there. So there's that one. I think maybe I had this one back in the day, um, but like this green plastic part, it was orange. Or maybe it was this, I think maybe it was this one actually, that I had back in the day. It's hard to remember now. But yeah, so this is like a seesaw, it tilts when the balls um, go to one end of it. And this one um, I did have back in the day, I think I've, I'm sure I've still got it now. But again, the plastic bit, it wasn't, it's not green, it's actually orange on the one that I've got. And I've got this one. Um, not really sure what you're supposed to do with this. It's, uh, it's like this one, except 
this seesaw bit is missing, so that's kind of weird. I'm not really sure what's going on there. Got another seesaw on. Oh wait, oh, I thought it wasn't a seesaw then because it wasn't tipping. <clears throat> so this one, this looks like quite a simple one. So I guess you've got to get each ball into each one of these hoops. And then lastly there's this one. Um, I'm guessing you meant to get all the balls inside of this thing, this circle. Oh, and the circle moves as well. Okay, so I'm going to see how far I can get on some of these in the video. I'm not going to, I don't think I'll try every single one. I'm not, I'm not going to try each one for a long time, otherwise it's just going to make for a boring video. Um, let's try this one. Now, like I said before, this is one that I actually had back in the day. And... Um, well, I think I've still got it now, actually. And I remember it not being too difficult. So, let's try and get these balls out, out of the middle first. Oops. Yeah, it's going to be difficult getting those balls out of the middle without disturbing the other ones. I'm guessing it's probably best to just, to just get them out of the middle in the first place, and then when you're placing the balls just try and not let any of them roll into the middle bit which has just happened there so yeah I remember it being quite easy but um, right now I'm finding it pretty damn difficult let's try this one where you've got to get the hoops onto this thing now I remember back in the day when I was um, trying to do this I did find it really really difficult and then my uncle picked it up to have a go and he did it straight away I couldn't believe it Let's see if I can just even get one onto this thing. Yeah, even just getting one onto it is pretty difficult. There we go. Oh, I've got two on it. Um, let's try this seesaw one. Oh, I do really like the way this one looks, actually. Um, hmm. This is this is quite difficult actually. I'm looking at how many holes you've got, and there's less holes than the amount of balls. I'm I'm sure. So I'm guessing you've got to get the other balls maybe placed in the middle of each one of these zigzaggy lines. <clears throat> um. Let's try something that should be fairly easy. Yeah, it is a bit difficult trying to do this because I'm having to kind of look um, around the uh, the tripod. Because I think if I try try to do it through the viewfinder, I think maybe it's going to be even more difficult. But well, I can't even get one of them onto onto um, either hole. So yeah, I, I was expecting this to be really easy, but hmm. Yeah, so there you go. So. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what the proper name is for this, for these. Um, I have heard them um, being called glitter cubes, but when I put that into Google, I don't really think much came up about these types of puzzles. I have ordered a bunch more of these puzzles as well from eBay from another seller, um, and I should be getting that quite soon actually. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching.